Hello, and welcome to the rightcome.com podcast, where we help you to make money from your words. Each episode, we'll be sharing tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to make more money from your writing, publishing, and marketing to your fans and audience. Let's get started with your host, Barry J. McDonald. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to this podcast episode from Redcom.com. And today's podcast episode is entitled, My Parents Won't Let Me. Now, earlier on today, I was just going through YouTube, and I've come upon a great app that I'm using on my new phone. Now, if you've been listening to the podcast at all for long, you'll have known that my iPhone gave out a few months back. So the kids got me a brand new phone for Christmas, which is really, really fantastic. It's a, an Android phone, and one app that I'm using at the moment, which is one of the probably the best apps I have on the phone, is one called SnapTube. Now, what SnapTube will allow you to do is would allow you to go into YouTube. It'll allow you to watch videos, uh, YouTube videos in the app itself or if you want to you can download the video or you can download the audio file so what I've been doing this past couple days as I've been out walking summer my dog is I've been going through old videos by Randy Gage I've gone through motivational um, videos on YouTube and then what I simply do is I simply download the mp3 file um, of the video and then I can listen to it as I'm out going for my walk now one of the videos I was looking at today was one by Gary Vaynerchuk now if you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is I highly recommend you watch some of his content. Now, don't ask me how to spell his name. Um, I think he's from Belarus or he's Russian or whatever. So he's a complicated surname. But I'm sure if you type in Gary V, you'll find his name will probably come up in the search box. It's He's really, really popular on YouTube. Now, one of the videos he had been talking about, I forget what it was on the topic, um, whether it was on social media or whether it was on content creation or whatever. But he brought out the topic that people hold themselves back because of their parents. In that a lot of people, unfortunately, you know, as I said in uh, an episode a few episodes back, I think it was crumbling with criticism in that video or in that, sorry, in that podcast episode, I was talking about, you know, how people crumble with criticism in that they are afraid to do different things because they're afraid of what their friends are going to take, they're afraid of what their family members are going to, to, to make of them or, you know, if they suddenly started going up on facebook and they started doing a lot of kind of you know facebook lives on particular topics for example in my world here if i started going up and doing facebook lives and self-publishing and publishing and talking about writing and all those different things a lot of people unfortunately are uncomfortable doing that because they know their friends and their family and all people who know them are probably going to find that coming up in their news feed and because of that then they are holding themselves back because they're afraid of the kind of public embarrassment of doing that but one of the things Gary was actually bringing up in that piece of content the day I was watching was that how parents can actually hold you back. A lot of us unfortunately will hold us back because we feel that our parents will you know maybe you know not look at what we do in a good light. Again too we might feel embarrassed if we suddenly became a writer or we suddenly maybe decided well I'm not going to get involved in the family business anymore I'm not going to follow along I'm going to break off and I'm going to do something else that I want to do you know we've all been doctors for all these generations I don't want to be a doctor I want to be a scientist or I want to be a policeman or I want to be whatever and unfortunately a lot of people have a great fear of you know going against the grain going against the wishes of their mothers and fathers and that and because of that then they live a life of quiet desperation you know regretting or almost kind of you know holding it against their parents that they feel it's their parent that is holding them back and not allowing them to do that whereas in fact it's them themselves that is doing that you know i don't know what you are holding yourself back from the moment maybe you have watched some of my videos maybe you've listened to some of my podcasts and maybe you have been you know excited and maybe wanted to try something maybe podcasting maybe youtube channel or maybe training or or writing or whatever and I want to ask you maybe if you haven't taken that up why is that why haven't you taken on that you know whatever that thing is you want to do maybe it's because of as I said in that other podcast episode maybe you are afraid of the criticism or maybe you're afraid of you know getting the kind of negativity from your parents you know unfortunately a lot of people will 
kind of keep in tow with the family line you know even though they are adults they will always look up to their parents as being the people that they need to look up to kind of look as a kind of guiding light in their life so even though they find people maybe in their 40s or 50s you know it only takes a comment from their mother or father to kind of slap them back down even though they are grown-ups and make them say well you know why should you become a writer you haven't you've never ever been a writer or something like that or you know we've always been doctors you, you know you should always be a doctor like the rest was you're letting you're breaking the family tradition or whatever and a lot of people unfortunately live their lives through that you know that family that parental thing that you know needing to follow the mothership all the way through their life or their fathership all the way through their life and toe the family line and live a life unfortunately where they are probably going to resent the parents because the parents are you know are putting the they are let allowing the parents kind of you know let them do what they can do and what they can't do even though they are adults now i know probably that sounds funny but you probably are well aware of it yourself maybe you're doing your own case maybe you are still you know towing the family line and following along with your father your mother's wishes even though you know they may be far older than you you may be an adult you may be you know free to go in any direction you want to but unfortunately you are following the family line and i was just thinking about that as i was doing that i was just thinking about how i got into writing how i got into podcasting and everything and one thing that probably has stood to my benefit now it's probably not something that anybody should brag about or maybe something that i'm not proud of is that i you know my father died a few years back but before he actually died me and my parents and my family had a little bit of a falling out well i suppose it's more than a little bit of a falling out we had a a large falling out in that i was kind of shunned from the family and i was kind of pushed away on my own and as you will find sometimes you know kids will rather than maybe picking one side or another again i didn't want my sister to pick one side or the other but you will find they will probably just follow the family line and they will stick on the side of the parents so sometimes when you're pushed out as the black sheep sometimes you find yourself on your own and in my case i did find myself on my own now this isn't me looking for a pity party i'm not looking for anybody saying oh poor you and all this and oh that's awful the way your family turned your back and you or whatever no i'm not looking for that but i'm just thinking to myself because i was pushed out of the nest and because i was kind of seen as a black sheep it did kind of free me up a lot in my mind in that i didn't need to follow along with the family line i didn't need to do anything that they approved of if i wanted to go into porn or whatever i could do that because i didn't need to have their approval or if they looked down the nose at me i didn't care because i didn't have them standing over me kind of tut 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 and waving the finger and saying oh you shouldn't do this and you're bringing the family down and you're you're doing this and you're shaming us and you're doing that you know all that kind of negativity that comes with all that kind of bull but because i was kind of pushed out on my own because i didn't have to answer to anybody and because i was made it feel like the black sheep but then i said to myself you know it did free me up a lot in that you know something i could be ahead and i could go ahead and be a writer or i could go and head and be a podcaster or i could do this i could go off and any tangent at all my father was a truck driver my mother was a stay-at-home mum so i didn't feel obliged that i always needed to be a truck driver or i needed to file follow any family tradition at all i just could go in any direction i want and because of that then it probably did free me up a lot in that I didn't care if you know they didn't want me to be a writer i didn't care if they never read my books i didn't care if they were embarrassed by anything i said in podcast episodes or anything i recorded in videos because their opinion to me didn't matter anymore but again too i know some people probably say that's awful and how can you talk like that and you know poor you again as i said i'm not looking for a pity party but i did have that kind of weight lifted off me in that i didn't have to worry what my mother taught of what i was doing or what my father taught of what i was doing now again you probably say to yourself well barry you're an adult at this stage should you really really care about what your parents actually think about what you do but unfortunately a lot of people are like that a lot of people you know even though they are grown-ups still keep the family line you know the it only takes a comment from a brother or sister to knock them back in line or make them put them back into their place in the family you know you find when you know when everybody has all independent lives but when they go back to that christmas party when they're all sitting around the kitchen table or whatever the dinner table everybody goes back into those roles they had when they were in the family so you have the you know the golden eye of the family you have the one 
child that was always the the one that was always getting in trouble you had the the stupid one you had the one that was always a hard worker and we automatically slot ourselves back into those roles when we go back to family events so because i don't have that on me because i haven't been back to many many uh family events in many years i hadn't i didn't have that role to fit into so that was lifted off me and in some way it was it was a good thing it meant that i could go in any direction i wanted to do i could do whatever i wanted to do and i didn't feel the need that i needed to keep them happy or you know keep the family away or whatever it is that you know i felt obliged to do because they were my parents and sometimes you will find that people will kind of tow the family line until maybe their parents die and unfortunately sometimes they leave it too late you know if the parents die when maybe they themselves maybe are there in their 50s and 60s you may find sometimes that those people actually you know might go off and do something they've never ever done before maybe they might just quit the family business as soon as the mother and father is dead because they don't feel that pressure anymore or sometimes they realize well you know something there were so many things i wanted to do but because i was tied up into the family tradition or i always wanted to keep mommy and daddy happy i never wanted to disappoint them I never want them to make them feel that, you know, that I was a disappointment or that, you know, that I could bring shame on my family. That, unfortunately, some of them, you know, realize too late that they can't do what they want to do. Maybe whatever dreams they have had been pushed to the side because of always followed along in the family line. So when I was listening to that podcast episode today or that ep- that video from YouTube with Gary Vinicek, it did kind of prompt something in me in that... Unfortunately, you know, as I said in that episode, crumbling with, um, you know, criticism, a lot of us sometimes keep ourselves in line because of fear of friends and family. But I also feel that we keep ourselves in line because of what our parents are going to think about what we are doing. And if that is the case, maybe what you are would like to do, is that one reason why you aren't writing right now? Is that one reason why you're not podcasting? Is that one reason why you aren't, you know, why are you? Maybe you're following along in the family tradition. Maybe you want to be a writer. Maybe you want to do something that's different than what the family has done before. And are you keeping yourself in line just to keep mommy and daddy happy? And if so, well, maybe it's time to maybe rethink on that. Maybe you are adult at this stage maybe as i said we can go off in any direction we want to but you know if you do go off in that direction will you be able to put up with the criticism and the kind of hurt feelings and maybe the comments every so often will that be enough to to make you go back tow you back in line or will you be able to keep going so keep that in mind today if you are finding you know a little, a little bit difficult maybe to you know open up maybe to be more of yourself maybe to do things that you want to do is it because of you are maybe afraid of what your parents are going to think so i hope i've helped somebody out with that maybe expanded you in some way or maybe maybe think twice about what you or what's stopping you from taking on what it is that you want to do so always if you'd like to reach out to me you can send an email to barry j mcdonald at gmail.com now don't send any sympathy emails because i'm not looking for any sympathy it's just the way it is and the way it is is the way it is unfortunately so as I said, if you want to reach out to me, send an email, or if you'd like to find out more what I do over on the Writecom site, which is all to do with writing, publishing, and creating content that you can promote yourself with and sell or whatever. If you want to go over to Writecom, that's W-R-I-T-E-C-O-M-E dot com, you'll find the content on the blog over there. So as always, if you'd like to hear more of these podcast episodes, then certainly subscribe and I will send the next couple of ones on to you. Or if you'd like to leave a review, or if you'd like to share this podcast episode with somebody else, I would really, really appreciate it so as always thanks for sharing your time again today take care and have a great day bye bye thanks for joining us today if you'd like more from the rightcom.com podcast be sure to subscribe now for more tips tricks and ideas you can use to make more money from your words see you in the next episode